Hey guys, welcome back to another flashlight review. Today I'm going to be talking about the Convoy S21E with the XHP 50.3 High. I think hands down this is one of the best value Convoy lights out there if you're a beginner or an enthusiast. The value you get is just incredible. All you have to do is add a 21700 cell and Simon sells them on his website as well. So if you want to get one bundled in with the light, it only costs a few dollars more, which I think is a great deal. It doesn't come with the USB-C connector, but those things are just so so easy to find these days. Everyone's got them and charge their phones with them anyway. Uh, yeah, but you basically get, get the light, you get the clip, which I thought was a nice addition. A lot of convoys don't have clips. This one, by the way, fits on the S2 Plus. I've taken it off. And I like it because it is a kind of, um, yeah, it feels very sturdy. It's not one of those clips that has uh, that you're going to be easily bendable, that kind of thing. It is quite sturdy on the light. But yeah, the main thing with this light is that you get that upgraded XHP 50.3 high, which gives you a heck of an increase in output and throw efficiency, especially if you compare it to something like an Achia 519A. And the 519A, obviously, it has better color rendering index. But you, the great thing about this one is that you can actually get this XHP 50.3 high in two different versions you get it in the high cri which is i think 90 and uh, this one here which is 70 but it produces more lumens i mean both of them are really good options but yeah so just a little close up you can see here the s21e has some really smooth anodizing on it i got mine in green a bit bored of the normal black color the finish is just flawless there's something about these style, these new convoy lights that are coming out that are just a step above the rest, even this little detailing there on the tail cap. The build quality, I mean, for the price that you pay for these lights, I just think it's an absolute steal. There's almost a slight, I don't know what it is, there's a little sheen to the, to the anodization. And look at the battery tube as well. You've got some interesting knurling design there some nice little cutouts there on the head usb-c charging port obviously on the back button here on the side side switch is nice it's got like a you need to give it a firm press I'll screw that in you've got to give it a firm press to turn on it's got a nice also stainless steel uh, retaining ring stainless steel bezel on the top as well tail caps pretty basic would it be nice it would be really, really nice if Convoy added a tail cap version of the S21E. I think that would make it really, really valuable to have something like a tail cap there if you wanted to use it as a tactical flashlight or something like that. But, you know, the head is a little chunky, it sticks out, but a lot like this, if you do want some extra performance, sustained performance, it's good to have a bit of extra bit of metal there in the head for heat sinking. So yeah, no imperfections, and I'm always impressed with the level of quality Convoy managed to achieve at this lower price point. I think the XHP 50.3 high is very comparable to the SFT 70. Yeah, it produces one of the nicest beams, especially when you pair it with this orange pill reflector. You get the best of both worlds in terms of flood and throw. I can see why Simon's gone with the orange pill as well, because with these larger die LEDs, can be difficult to focus. They can produce these donut holes in the center, especially in smaller hosts like this. But in this one, you get great throw and also good amount of flood. And uh, yeah, nice, nice beam with no donut hole in it. You can unscrew the bezel if you want, just like anything else on Convoy Light, and uh, open it up, get into the pill underneath as well. Okay, oops, just show you, unscrew it and have a look that okay that's the driver three amp driver very efficient and at three amps it's not going to produce too much heat as well you can unscrew that and take a look at it uh, you need some pliers or some tweezers to open that one up i've actually got a samsung 40t my version the threads on the head are not anodized but the one on the, the tail is okay so you can disconnect it lock the light out uh, mechanically if you need to just going to show you the ui so yeah basically when you turn the light on it will remember the last mode 
um, if you press and hold the light, it ramps up. Okay, so this four modes is like uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, um, you can also from off press and hold, and you get access to a moonlight mode, which is lower than the lowest uh, mode in the ramp. Okay, pretty handy to access. Um, from off, you can double click access turbo. From off, also triple click, and you get strobe. From off, you can press four times and that will activate tactical mode. So you kind of just press and hold to turn the light on and off. And yeah, with these recent convoy flashlights in this UI, I do find the tactical mode does have a little delay. So from when I press the button, you probably got to wait, I don't know, two, 300 milliseconds for the light to actually switch on, which is a little bit annoying, but at least does have a tactical mode. Let's uh, deactivate that four clicks back to the normal mode again. Um, another thing you can do is that you can uh, check the voltage. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and it will blink out the voltage. Okay, what's this? One, two, three, four. Okay, four volts. And from the flashlight off as well, you can switch to normal ramping mode. So yeah, you can click six times to switch it into the smooth ramping mode, press and hold. I do prefer the step ramping because it's just faster. I find the normal ramping is just a bit slow on these new convoy lights. And a few people have commented on that as well. Another thing you can do is lock the light out. So yeah, with the light off, you just press that button 10 times and it locks it. A little bit overkill if you ask me to press it 10 times, but yeah, that's just how it's designed in this UI. So let's have a look at the performance. And this is where the exciting stuff really comes in. This is where this light really shines. And it surprised me compared to a lot of my other flashlights of this size. I mean, in terms of the efficiency, how little heat was producing. And you can see on 100%, started that off, uh, started the test off on 100%, and it lasts about three minutes on 100%. I mean, that's quite incredible to have that sort of performance in a little light like this. And I was touching the head and it, yeah, it felt hot, but definitely not uncomfortable. I could still keep my hand on it, no issues there. I mean, compared to some other lights like the ones that I have with SFT 40s in there, geez, I mean, those get really, really, really hot. Um, and because that's, you know, because we're driving them at six to eight amps at times. And so it's gonna produce more heat, it's gonna be less efficient, but this thing just ticks on, runs with such high lumens and throw. And uh, yeah, you can see it drops down around about the three minute mark, drops down very suddenly to 50% of its output. And I ran it for a little while, it didn't change. Around just after eight minutes, I turned it on, activated turbo again, and you can see the lights picked up that it's uh, hot. So there's some kind of temperature uh, module in there and it's just ramped down completely to um, about 25 to 30%, okay? And I tried again, 16 minutes, double tap and again it's just gone uh, up to 100 and dropped down but it's good to know that you can get that burst of turbo even when the light ramps down completely you can double tap again and access it i do find a lot of the mainstream lights do not allow you to do that i also ran another ceiling bounce test and this is on 40 percent, so it's on the third mode the third ramp mode in here very, very bright. I mean, you can use that for pretty much anything and produces little to no heat, just, you know, stays a bit warm in the head. And look at that performance, incredible performance, 10 minutes, it just maintained 100%. So the regulation is top quality in this light. Okay, so here are some tests I ran on my Oppo Lightmaster Pro, and you can see 1%, 10%, 40%, and 100%. Those are the four ramp modes, uh, running at three amps on 100%. And look at that throw on 100%, 245 meters. Really quite impressive. 74 for the color rendering index, which is actually higher than the 70 that it was specified as. But like, like I mentioned, you can get this light with two different versions of the XHP 50.3. So the 90 CRI version and the 70. So if higher cry is more important to you with uh, you know slightly less lumens, you can get that version. Very few manufacturers offer the ability to select an LED to this specific level. So, you know, well done to Convoy. I hope they continue to do this for many years to come. Um, CCT, you can see here, 7,097 on the highest mode. So it's a very cool beam as you get uh, to the higher modes. I do like that though for visibility. This thing really just cuts through the night 
very, very nicely. Overall, I think this is one of my favorite beams in a flashlight of this size. And, you know, I'm more of a fan of SMO reflectors, but this is a really nice one. It's got a blended hotspot, lots of spill, practical beam. You also can use it up close as well. So, you know, in the lower modes, you know, a lot of people don't like smooth reflectors as walking lights. And I, I like them because they just offer a more high candela. But, I mean, with this one, with the amount of lumens it pumps out on 100%, I mean, you don't even need that impressive runtime. Um, yeah, overall impressive runtime and heat management on the higher modes, 40 to 100 Okay, so some considerations you might want to be aware of. Again, it's a 21700 cell light, so it's going to be a bit larger in your pocket. But, you know, compared to the S2+, Plus, really, it's not too different. It's really not too different. I mean, you've got maybe another 5 millimeters or something. Okay, so you do get the bonus as well of that added runtime with a 21700 cell. Another thing is that you don't get a battery included with this flashlight unless you select an option on Simon's website. I do recommend doing that because you get it for a pretty good price for a couple of bucks, two, three bucks, I think. And uh, yeah, that's very competitive. I can't find a 21700 cell for, for that much, a reputable one anyway. Uh, there's also no USB-C charging cable included. So uh, you should have one lying around. Those things are very easy to find. And another nitpicky thing, of course, is that there is no tail switch. And this is more of a EDC everyday light with uh, the switch here on the front. And, you know, it's good that at least the design of it makes it easier to find the switch because it's got these elevated cutouts here, okay, for the, the charging port and the actual button itself. So yeah, a lot of lights, they'll be completely flat and you just be fumbling around trying to find a button. But with this one, no issues, you can find that. Uh, button a lot easier in the dark. Overall, I think this is the perfect budget light for anyone who is getting into flashlights or maybe an enthusiast. I think that it's great for everyday tasks around the house, um, walking, you can use that outside the house, around the house, EDC usage as well. It's quite small, easy to pocket, very versatile, but just a value you get out of this light. I mean, considering the performance, the output, the build quality, I'm really struggling to find anything out there that beats it in terms of price, uh, price per value ratio and, you know, even comes with USB-C charging, which a lot of people were complaining about with the S2 Pluses, doesn't have USB-C charging. So recommend this light, so I really recommend it. So check it out in the description. I'll leave the link to Simon's website. I don't get any commissions or anything from that. And if you have any comments, anything that you want uh, answered let me know below and i'll get back to you and also if you like the video make sure you click the like button because it helps me get this video out to more people and finally if you want to see me make more flashlight reviews make sure you subscribe convoy s21e here xhp 50.3 high very very impressive edc flashlight and i'm going to show you how it works just on the different modes now this is the lowest mode you can't really tell it's on here on the camera, but it's a nice, very nice sort of low mode. I think it's a 1%. You can still see up close, maybe six or so meters ahead. Okay, hold. Second mode. I'm really impressed at how far this thing throws, even on that second mode. Third mode. Okay, and it comes in four modes. Okay, four step modes. That's the highest one. Look at that. Easily hitting the trees off in the field, right in the back. There's a distinct hot spot in the center. But what I really like is how well it blends into the spill. And the, the spill is significant as well because of how much, how much light this LED produces. And most impressively is just how how the how uh, sustained you get these sort of lumens it's very very good performance just with these sustained lumens it doesn't really ramp down until just over a couple of minutes i think okay It's an amazingly throwy LED.
but you really get the best of both worlds. It's orange peel reflector, so I mean, if you pop the smooth reflector in there, it'd probably throw further, but maybe get a funny hot spot, a, a darker hot spot center. But this is quite a beautiful beam. I don't really see it stepping down that much, if at all. Turn it off and turn it back on again. I mean, I don't really see much difference at all. And really nice heat uh, regulation as well. Body's a bit larger than the S21. Uh, the S2 Plus, I mean. So it's definitely shifting around that heat properly. And it's much more efficient than, say, an SFT40. Look at that, it's still going. Go back to the lower mode, step one, step two. Even step two is really good enough for a walking light. And that's not gonna give you any step down at all. I love this light. Excellent performance. Third step. Fourth step. Some police across the road. I hope they're not worried about what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Look at that. Just go for a quick walk up ahead.